Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is called Understanding Area. This is lesson 11.4 in our textbook, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. All right, so there's our common course strand for our teachers, and then our question is, how is finding the area of a shape different from finding the perimeter of a shape? So remember, perimeter is adding up all the outside lengths right there. So so here, we learned that perimeter is the measure around uh, around a shape. So it, it measures in linear units or units that are used to measure the distance between two points. Okay, so uh, here the perimeter is 4 because it would be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 4. So this would be for something like uh, if you're putting a fence around the outside right here, that would be a uh, perimeter. Okay, so something like that uh, around the outside is perimeter. Okay, and so here we're going to talk about area. Area is the measure of the number of unit squares. Here is a unit square right here that are in this flat surface. A flat surface just means uh, uh, it's just like on this uh, whiteboard right here. Okay, or your teacher's whiteboard right there. Here is a unit square right here. So uh, a unit square is a square with side length of one unit and has an area of, and they call it one square unit. And we're going to abbreviate that like this. This says square unit right here. So here is one square unit right here. Can you see it's a square and there's just one of them right here. So the area is inside of here. So, so you know, like a word problem, this would be like um, uh, maybe painting a wall. That would be area area kind of problem or or laying down carpet that would be area problem but something like putting a fence around the outside that would be a perimeter kind of problem right there okay so I think they ask you that kind of stuff so we can count the number of units on each side of the shape to find its perimeter so if we just add up the outside pieces that would be the perimeter and then uh, to find the area we just count the number of uh, squares on the inside that would be the area okay so let's try some of these, you guys. So, so here we have um, uh, geo boards, or this is dot paper here. So, uh, but if you have geo boards, geo boards are are these little pegs with rubber bands. I'm sure your teacher has some, or if they don't, then it's just like this. It's dot paper right here. But, but uh, I have a class set of geo boards, and so we put rubber bands around these, and we talk about um, rectangles that happen in here. So, so this says uh, form a shape made from two unit squares. So you can pick any two unit square. You know, I can pick, I can pick this uh, unit square right here. Just think if I wrapped a rubber band around it, make a nice little square, and then I can pick this one also. So there'd be two. I think I did these two right here. I think you guys. So, so right there. So, uh, uh, what is the area of this shape? Well, how many squares are inside of this? Here is one square. Here is one square. So there's two unit squares inside of here. So we say that the area is two square units. Okay. So here's one square unit. Here's one square unit. So there's two square units. Hey. What's the perimeter, you guys? The perimeter would be 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 5, 6. The perimeter is 6 units. The area is always square units. You always say square for, for area. Any kind of area problem is always in square units. So 1 square, 2 square, okay? All right, let's do this again, except we'll change the shape so that uh, it is made up of 3 unit squares, okay? And then we'll record the shape, on, shape in dot paper. Now, there's several different... Uh, 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 ways you can do this you guys in fact if your teacher asks you to do that and you have geo boards you guys and then you can wrap them in rubber bands here's one square two square three square so this would be an example of three squares right there oh, I forgot what I did right here I did probably oh no I did this one okay here's one square here's two square here's three squares so there's three unit squares can you guys see that right there okay I was thinking of this one up here there's three unit squares also right there so so the area of this is three square units, okay? Um, what would the perimeter be? The perimeter would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The perimeter around would be eight units, and the area is three square units, okay? Remember, area is always in square units, and perimeter is always in just units right here. So if these were inches, you guys, say that was one inch right there, this would be one, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The perimeter would be eight inches, and the area would be three square inches, okay? So whatever the units are, if they're in inches or centimeters or something like that, okay? All right, so from that second part that we were just talking about, you guys, what other kind of shapes might we have, all right? Well, here's the one that we have right there. You could have that shape. You could have that shape right there. You could have that shape right there. But look, you guys, this shape is essentially this shape just kind of turned upside down. Can you see this guy sliding down upside down? It will look just like this. These two are kind of the same shape right there, even though they're in different positions and upside down of each other. Like this one here, you guys. This one is the same shape as this one right here. It's just in a different position right there. So you're either going to have a shape that's uh, three in a row like this, or you're going to have a little... Uh, they call this a right angle right here, a little uh, sort of L shape right here, okay, or or J shape. Here's an L shape right here, okay. So it's either going to be an L shape or a straight three square units right there. All right, here, let's draw three different shapes that are each made from four square units and then find the area of the shape, okay. Well, if they're going to have four square units, then all the areas are going to be four square units right here. So here's one, you guys. Here's four. Here's one square, two square, three square, four square. So here is one that has four squares, okay? What about this one, you guys? If I did, say, these guys in the middle right here and made a big square out of, out of four squares. Here's one square, two square, three square, four square. Okay, how about, let's see if we do a little uh, L-shape sort of thing right here, an upside down kind of L-shape right here. One square, two square, three square, four square. Okay, so here's another one right here. All right, so how are the shapes the same and how are they different? Well, they're the same because they all have area of four square units. Okay, whoops, let me slide that up. So that's how they're the same. How are they different? Well, one's a rectangle, you guys. This guy is a rectangle right here. This one's a square right here, and this one's neither a rectangle nor a square, okay? And another thing you can think about is their perimeter, you guys. So if we just put ones around all the outside right here, the perimeter will start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The perimeter of this one is ten. Okay, how about this one? We'll start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The perimeter of this one is eight, and it's just eight units, you guys. Uh, area is square units, and perimeter is always just units. Okay, if we did this one, the perimeter of this guy is ten. So how are they different? Well, we can talk about the square. This guy has a perimeter of just eight, and this guy has a perimeter of 10, and this guy has a perimeter of 10 also. Okay, so how are they the same? They all have an area of 4. How are they different? That's a rectangle. That's a square. That's neither a rectangle or a square, and they, and they have different perimeters. This one has a smaller perimeter than these guys, even though they have the same area. Kind of, kind of fun to think about, huh? <laughs> All right, so how about this, you guys? Uh, find uh, the area of each shape. So here, I just made a little square, and I'm just going to drag it around inside of all these squares to help us count right here, okay? Oops, let me do this here. Uh, i got to delete and redo that. Okay, so here, there we go. Here's one square, two square, uh, three square, four square, five square, six square, seven square. So the area of this guy is seven square units right there, okay? If we did the same thing with this guy here, I gotta, I think I gotta, okay, so watch this. I'll start, uh, I'll start down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 okay that one's 11 right there okay and then if we did this is this gonna let me yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I get 11 on that one okay all right so uh, th those guys um, the area of this one is seven square units the area of this one remember area is always left in your answer is square units so if it was in inches it would be square inches square centimeters, square feet if you're talking about feet, okay? So this one uh, is also 11 square units right here. All right, you guys, that's it. I hope that makes sense. Take care.